Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Exertion Freelance Marketplace WordPress theme. And basically, this is a complete solution if you are creating a freelance marketplace website where employers can post job and freelancers can apply for the jobs and so on. If you want to buy this theme, you can just follow the link in the description which will take you to this page. Here you can see the theme name, the price, and why to choose this theme is if you scroll down, this has all the features that a freelance marketplace website need. This theme has social logins, employer dashboard, freelancer dashboard, wallet system, WooCommerce payments, withdraw funds, unlimited packages and so on. You can learn more about this theme here in this page. And this is also compatible with Elementor page builder using which you can create a website just by drag and drop. So if you want to buy this theme and you want to create the website then just follow the link in the description and get this theme. And here you can just click on add to cart and you can buy this theme. I already have a video about how you can buy a theme for this theme. Now once you buy this theme you will just need to upload this to your WordPress. So for that you can go to your WordPress dashboard. You can go to appearance and here you can click on add new and upload theme. Then click choose file and select the theme that you have downloaded. I already have a video about how you can buy a theme and then how you can upload this to WordPress. And this video is just about the Exertship theme. And once you upload the theme, you will be able to see over here. So let's activate this. And after activating the theme, you will see this message where we have to install these plugins. So we will just click on begin activating the plugins. I already have installed the plugins, that is why I am seeing this. And in your case, you will see begin installing plugins. So let's click on this. These are the required plugins. So we will select all and we'll just activate them and that's it now if i go back to appearance and themes and now we don't have that notification and if i visit this website in a new tab this is what we have so we just have a demo a home page and with a host now if you visit this theme and you check its live review so you can see there are a number of demos available in this theme that we can import and we can customize so here you can pick a demo based on your needs so let's say I want to use this demo so I can click on this and here I can see the website look like all the pages, the sign in and register, search option, these are the categories and trending services and these are the latest jobs, these are the freelancers these are the packages and so on so let's say i like this demo so i can import this demo and then i can customize this so let's see how we can import this and in this theme you don't have an option directly like if you go to any other theme you can just click on import demo and it will import the demo data but in this theme the process is a little different and for the detailed process you can just go to the second link in the description which will guide you through how you can import the demo data but i'm also showing you in this video we will go to tools and import and then we will click on WordPress importer. So in the dashboard, you can scroll down, you can go to tools, click import, scroll down, click on WordPress, install now and run importer. And here we will choose a file and then we'll click on upload. So to get the file, you can go to the same link here, scroll down all the way to the bottom. And this is the demo data. So just click on this and you will be able to download this i already have downloaded this data let me show you this is the demo data so the first thing is we will upload this content.xml file and then we will upload themes option and also the widgets option so let's go back to our dashboard and we will choose file and we'll select this content.xml we'll click open upload and import and here you can choose a specific user for the data but i'll leave this because i only have one user here and make sure you also check this option download and import file attachments and then click on submit and after that you will get this page now i'm seeing already exist because i tried this a few times and you will see all imported and you will see this all done have fun so this is how you can import the demo content now we will go to the next step in which we will go to the themes option and uh, let me show you we will go to appearance themes option and import and export where we will be able to import this which is the second file so let's go to our dashboard we'll go to appearance themes option and here we will scroll down and we'll go to import export and then we'll click on import from clipboard 
and here we will paste the theme files so if i open that folder you can see theme options we will open this and we'll select all we'll copy this and we'll paste it here we'll click on import click ok and setting imported now the only thing remaining is the widgets so we can import widgets using another plugin after importing demo content themes option you need to import widgets so for that we can install this plugin widgets importer and exporter so we will go to our dashboard and we'll go to plugins add new we'll search for that plugin and we'll install this and plugin activated now we can go to tools and widget importer and here we will use the same copy paste option so let's click on this and let's copy the third file so let's go to that folder and you can see widgets let's select all we'll copy paste it here import widgets and that's it and you can see all widgets have been imported and now you can go to settings you can change your home page you can change your blog page and also you can change the formal links so let's go to our dashboard settings reading we will choose a static page for our home page which is home page 3 or you can choose any of these and we will select our blog page also we will save this and then we will go to permalinks we will make it post name and the last thing here is to change this to exertion menu we will go to appearance menus we will scroll down let's choose this option we will save changes and that's it now let's visit the website and we got the complete website with the logo on the pages the search option the home page video and so on and now we can customize this we can upload our own projects we can add our own users the packages and so on so this is how you can install and set up exertion wordpress theme and if you want to customize this theme using elementor and want to learn more about wordpress and elementor you can visit my channel i have lots of videos about wordpress and elementor and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next